Blake here. It has been so fun to be back at the cafe for a bit. This is the week though that I need to go back to the design school. That stands for. The Drawing and Excellent Storytelling Institute for Graphic Novels. I guess I'm ready to go back. I mean, it's way easier to find soy milk there than it is here, but it's just been so peaceful, you know? No responsibilities, time to think and relax. So, how do you feel about going back to the design school? I'm excited, you know, but it's tough. And it's a lot of work. And I mean, most of my friends there don't even know Jesus. I don't even know how I would talk about God to Vito and Sal and Tony. The protector's not out here yet. Mesa and I thought I asked you to grab it from the back. My arm hurts. I'll help, Mrs. K. Thank you. I can't believe that the filmmaking club is coming here tonight, too. I know, it feels like everything's happening at once this week. We still have to clean all this up. They'll be here in 15 minutes. Um, Blake, can you take out the trash for me? Uh, you know, Bri, I, I, I totally would, but I, I don't technically work here anymore, so... Fine. Mason? I'm tired. But you still have two hours of work left in your shift. Aren't you supposed to give it your all and go to the final buzzer in hockey? Yeah, but hockey's fun. Taking out the trash is not. Oh, okay. <laughs> Mason! Well, the customers can't even see it back there. But I can. I can smell it too. Consider it the smell of potential. I consider it the smell of old milk. What is the trash doing here? You know what? There's no time. I'll take care of it. You know what? I think it's time for a nap. Oh, man, I could go for one too. Are, uh, uh, are we good? Are we good? No, we still have to clean all this up and pop the popcorn. The film club will be here any minute and it's Kylie's first night. Bree, they're the ones using the cafe. Why can't they just pop their own popcorn? Yeah, hey, well, why not? Like Mr. and Mrs. Kirby say, the cafe is supposed to share Jesus' love. And I think Jesus would pop the popcorn himself. Okay, fine. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye, Kylie. See you tomorrow. Man, that was actually a really good movie. I've always loved spark plugs. Well, I gotta get going. I'll see you later. Oh, Mace, I'm planning on meeting up with some of the guys after this to go bowling. Do you want to come with? I'm sure Bree and Mrs. Kirby have things taken care of here, so. Excuse me? Yeah, you're right. Hey, I'll, uh, I'll see you later, Bree. No, M Mason, we still have to clean all this up. Uh, you, your arm's still broken, you can't even bowl. Mason! Ugh. Good morning, Bree. I don't even know how you're awake, Mrs. Kirby. Felt like we were here forever last night. I've had a lot of coffee. Do we have all the supplies ready for today? We still need to grab the Welcome to Botany Club banner and get the cupcakes. Yeah, I, I asked Mason to bring the cupcakes and I told Blake to pick up the banner. Oh, excellent. You are sure they both understood you though, right? They both seem kind of lazy. Well, I was gonna say lackadaisical, but yes. I, I think Blake's just nervous about going back to his school because he keeps talking about how much he loves it here and how relaxing it is to have time off. And it seems like Mason's just following Blake's lead. Hey, hey, good morning, party people. I got a ton of sleep last night and I am ready for another great day. Me too. All right, here you go, Mrs. K. Uh, Blake? Oh yeah, <laughs> um, so basically the people at the printing store said I'd have to wait like 10 whole minutes for them to finish printing the rest, so I figured some of it was better than none of it, you know? Interesting logic. You don't even have a full word and somehow it's still misspelled. But I got those cupcakes. Mason? 
This says shredded beef mix. Yeah, every time I eat it, I think, man, this tastes like cupcakes. Does it really though? You know, you guys should get ready for Botany Club. They're gonna be here in like, what, 20 minutes? Yeah, we still need to get coffee brewing, donuts frying, and we need to set out these flowers for everyone in Botany Club. Ooh, Amphibia, nice. I'll brew the coffee. Why don't you set out the flowers? Fine. Whoa, let me just check this out. You think the frog is actually just Fine. Tiger Man? I'll do it all myself. You know something? I never thought Botany Club would be this much fun. I thought I loved plants when I have to clean them all up. Why don't we just leave them there? Because we have to clean up for our next group. Well, who's coming now? I don't even know. Well, I remember and I know it's up to all of us to help make the cafe look nice. I am helping. I am. I mean, like, yeah, you guys got this. Good job. Yeah, that's the spirit, Good. Blake. Yeah, 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 yeah. <sighs> I really think you both ought to think about what you're doing and not doing. What do you mean? Well, Bree has been putting in a lot of work today and yesterday. Yeah, the cafe's been crazy. I'll say. I really think it would be a mark of maturity if you served others instead of waiting for them to serve you. For example, we have this long list of things that we still need to get done. Hmm. Maturity. I got you, Mrs. K. You, you do? do? Totally. Okay, I'm gonna go because you said you got it. The whole list. Mm-hmm, yep. Okay. She wants us to be more mature. Yeah. Cultured. Oh, I know what you're saying. It's time to be sophisticated. Oh, I dare say, old chap. My, my, look how much we are. Ah. <laughs> um. ah! My female sibling has occasion to arrive, Mesopheles. It is quite fortuitous, Blake Sterius. Right this way, dear madam. Mrs. Kirby, am, am I still awake? I, I think so. What are you guys doing? We're supposed to be getting ready for the surprise surge next group. Forsooth, we were desirous to serve thee, my dear sibling. But it's not supposed to look like this, though. We need to move all this. Relax, O oh cheesy one. <laughs> Why is there trash under the counter? Because it was faster to put it there. <laughs> Mason, Blake, I trusted you with this responsibility. Well, you told us to be mature. Now we're being super mature. <laughs> People are going to be here in like 20 minutes and we still have to clean all this up. <sighs> What's even the point? We don't have to do all this work. No one's even gonna notice it anyway. Actually, you're right. Thank you, Mrs. Wait, what? None of us have to do all this. We don't have to make the cafe look nice. We don't have to think about what other people want or serve others, but that's why it's so important. I don't get it. Hmm. Let me tell you a story about someone from the Bible who knew the power of serving others. Her name was Lydia. Hi there, I'm Lydia. My job is selling purple cloth. It's hard to make the color purple, so kings and other rich people pay me a lot to dye cloth purple for them. One day, Lydia was working by the side of a river when she heard someone talking. It was a person named Paul. Paul met Jesus after he died and came back to life? I have to start following this Jesus person. And Lydia didn't stop there. She looked around and saw that Paul and the others who followed Jesus needed help. They had nowhere to stay. So Lydia said they could all meet at her house. Wow, so many people have been following Jesus, which means more and more people are coming to my house to listen to Paul and the others. Snacks, anyone? Fresh peppers. The Bible doesn't tell us all that Lydia did, 
but it does tell us that she kept letting people come and meet at her house. Whenever we have guests over, my mom makes me clean like everything, even my room. I mean, it's not like we're eating in my room. I, I know. And imagine having to clean your home like that every single day. Well, that's what Lydia did. One day, Paul and his friend Silas were captured and taken to prison, though they were quickly released. Oh, well, that sounds like a cool story. Yeah, right. <laughs> For another time. But when they were released from prison, where do you think they went? Lydia's? <laughs> That's right, they knew that they would feel welcomed and valued there. So let's think about what we talked about earlier. We don't have to serve others, and Lydia didn't have to do what she did. So uh, then why did she? Well, what might have happened if Lydia chose to do the smallest amount she could? Yeah, you can like stay here or whatever, but don't expect me to do anything, because I am too tired. <laughs> Taking the trash out is no fun. I'll just um, leave them here. Um, I'm going bowling, so you can all clean up after yourselves. Wait, Mrs. Kirby, are you just saying things that me and Mason said yesterday? You are. Yeah, but I definitely wouldn't have felt welcome there. Yeah. I mean, you're right, Mrs. K. It takes work to serve others. That's how Lydia made such a big difference. Because she served, Jesus' followers in that city had a place to meet. And more people felt welcomed, cared for, and more people heard about Jesus. The same thing is true for us. We can build the church by serving. Serving others shows us God's love, and serving can cheer others up and make them feel valued especially if we serve by doing something we don't have to do. So when I was just doing the bare minimum, like throwing the trash behind the counter, I wasn't serving at all. Yeah, we didn't help by ignoring that list of things you actually needed us to do either. Well, there's still time. Hmm. You're right. Let's get ready for the next event then. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I got it. Thank you for serving. Of course. Whew. Wow, what a day. I think we're ready. Mason, do you think Blake knows what our next event is? I don't think I know what our next event is. Hey, Blake. Thank you so much for cleaning out the kitchen. That was just unexpected and so kind. Of course, Mrs. K. Um, hey, you know, I, I, I kind of realized something. What's that? Well, you and Mr. Kirby served me and Bree so much last year. It was awesome. <laughs> and it's what brought us back to the cafe and ultimately led us to follow Christ. Yeah, that's totally true. And even though my friends don't know Jesus, I can show them what he's like by serving them, right? Absolutely. You know, when I was serving today, it was like my whole attitude changed. Doing those things weren't so bad after all. It was actually kind of fun. Okay, seriously, like, what is this setup? Is this for like, like a comic theme club or Three, party? Or... Two, one. You, you rock, Blake! Blake! <laughs> Wait, what? it's your going away party, man. I wish you didn't have to go back to design school, but I know you're there for a reason. And I know you're gonna do some awesome things, Blake. Definitely. Thanks, guys. This is seriously amazing, and I'm so excited to go back to school and share Jesus with my classmates, but I... Man, I missed you guys so much. Me too. Take care, man. Um, I still want that autographed copy of your next issue. You got it. Hey Blake, you're not gone yet. Let's enjoy this party. 
Right. Twin sibling dance off. Oh, it's on. It's been on. Come on. 